Well, hi there, Ellen. My name's Nick, and this video is for what is your secret talent. And my secret talent is I like to tell jokes. I also like to do voice acting and voice things with my voice. I do do some different character voices. Um, I do a couple of impressions. I also tell jokes. I'm just overall a very energetic person who feels he belongs in this industry. Make a dream come true. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but seriously. Not your job, not your job. I, I don't want your job because I think what you do is great. I would, I could never. I, you've got those dance moves, and I, I clearly don't. I, 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 I mean, I, I don't. I shouldn't say I clearly don't, because you haven't seen me shake. You know, shake what my mama gave me, huh? Yeah, some salsa. Yeah, that, that was. I'm sure that was. I'm sure somebody laughed at that, right? You can just hear crickets off in the distance. I don't know why that is a universal sign for cricket, but apparently it is. <clears throat> but yeah, anyway, you know, the, the only thing to do with my comedians, comedians are always drinking water on stage. They're always drinking water on stage, you know? And, and I don't get it, because because if I were, you know, if you get nervous and you drink water on stage, you know, you're peeing your pants on stage, and then they're laughing at you, not with you. And as a comedian, you do not want them to laugh at you. You want them to laugh with you, unless, you know, you're cool with them laughing at you. But is there is there some sort of... I don't know what that connection is there. I just don't know. So anyway, I'm going to level with you, Ellen. That uh, whole, that intro thing, that was an example of me being just really energetic. And that's one of my talents. I have a lot of energy and I love to entertain. I'm an entertainer of sorts. That's kind of my thing. That's sort of my talent. I, I tell jokes. Uh, you know, I entertain in general. Like I said, I mentioned I do a couple of those uh, voice, um, voice characters, um, definitely do. Um, I have a couple of characters I've been working on. Um, did humorous interp in high school, so I got a chance to really utilize my voice. So here's a couple of characters. It's my name is Latrell, you know what I'm saying? Latrell, man, I got, I got my style, you know. JT says, as long as I got my suit and tie. Well, let me tell you, mm, JT ain't got nothing about my suit and tie, man. Let me tell you, JT, JT has got it going on, but man, he ain't, he ain't met me. He ain't met Latrell. And Latrell, mm, Latrell, L L ooh, ooh, and they call me LT, L L L Trail. L trail, L trail. Mm. Uh, I'm a little nervous, Nick. Um, I do a character voice. Uh, I don't have a name for this guy yet. Um, see, I, I haven't. This one I kind of did up on the spot, Ellen, and I don't know. See, what would this character's name be? I don't know. It might be like a Larry. Or, no, it wouldn't be a Larry, because Larry's sort of a macho man's name, and I'm not macho. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of every, every everything. Um, I'd be more of a, 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 a Melvin. Melvin, I'm Melvin. I'm Melvin. Mel, Melvin's my character. My, this, this character's name. I just created him like a second ago. It's a water's free. Water's free. It might have amoebas in it, though, but it sm smells good. I, I, I don't want to get germs or anything like that. Hmm. Well, it went down smooth. Thanks to insert product placement of name of water here. Thanks. Gosh, that must be really awkward. This must be super awkward. That's my niche, though, I think. I, I'm kind of an awkward guy. So, yeah, my, I'm kind of awkward. And, oh, I do a couple of other voices. Um, but before I do those, I want to tell you a couple of jokes because I did mention that I do comedy. Yes, I, I love comedy. So, uh, here's a couple of jokes for you listen to. There's one thing I can't stand when I watch TV, and that's when I see those commercials for the Disney Vault, you know, the ones where they're like, it's going back into the Disney Vault forever! Really? Lady and the Tramp's going back into the Disney Vault forever? Never to be seen again. Really? You're telling me I'm never going to be able to see The Lion King or Lady and the Tramp on ABC Family ever again? Hmm. Kim Jong-un's threatening to nuke us, man. That's, that's like, that's a lot of talk. I really don't think we have anything to be worried about. Because if you look carefully at the satellite images that the CIA has taken of the nuclear power plant, there is clearly a sign next to the front door that says, must be this tall to launch a nuclear strike. So close. So close. That's so far. Story, I work at an Italian restaurant as a waiter. I had a guest come in one day and ask me, Excuse me, sir. Do you have any cannolis on your menu? I'm not seeing them here. Unfortunately, we didn't. So we left. True story. Yo, Ellen, what is going on? Mm -hmm. Now, a couple of voices that I do do. Do do? <laughs> I'm such a five year old. A couple of voices that I do. Uh, I have two, uh, three actually, because I can't count. 
I do Don Pardo, the voice of Saturday Night Live. It's Saturday Night Live with your host, Justin Timberlake. I also do Heath Ledger's Joker. Now, I've always wanted to do the Heath Ledger's Joker impression at a Gap or an Old Navy with a bunch of scarves laced across my neck so that when people approached me, I could be like, Do you want to know where I bought these scarves? I do a Morgan Freeman impression. Now, I've been told by some it's good, by others, not so good. Some have even said that I sound like Colonel Sanders. You be the judge. Good Morgan Freeman. Bad Morgan Freeman. Or a really, really good Colonel Sanders impression. Well, Morgan Freeman, or Colonel Sanders, as you may know him, has a lot to talk about. And quite frankly, he always is talking. He's talking about a lot of things. He's talking about his good friend, Andy Dufresne. Andy Dufresne was a good friend of his in the movie, The Shawshank Redemption. It takes place at Shawshank Penitentiary, where Andy worked as a librarian. But he was also a lawyer, helping people out and doing what Andy did best. Andy was a good friend, but he wasn't much for prison life. Now, I could end my story there, or maybe even I could talk about something else. Bottom line being, whatever it is I talked about, whether I sound like Morgan Freeman or Colonel Sanders, this voice is very soothing to hear. So yeah, I do voices, I do comedy, and I got a lot of energy, and yeah, some people say that this isn't really a talent, but I happen to think otherwise. Thanks, Owen.